Hello the people of the universe, this is the Who Game Wizard and welcome back to another video and today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft Communities of Self and R on a Saturday at 7 o'clock and this episode I do promise will be on a 7 o'clock uh, because I'll edit it a couple of days beforehand and then upload it so even if I am busy on the Saturday it will still be online on Saturday which is what I used to do then more recently I've just sort of been forgetting to do it but now I'm tr gonna try and get back into the swing of things and recording them at least a couple of weeks in advance so that's what this video is the start of it's gonna be the start of getting back to routine um, I just thought I would let you know all that doesn't really matter to the actual video ooh tell you what does matter to the actual video uh, I've updated my house yet again I know, like I said, I'd stop faffing about and show you, uh, and stop showing you stuff that I've done outside of video. This is actually quite interesting. I need to go and find it first, and it's somewhere in my house. The only trouble is my house is getting very, very big now, and I struggle sometimes to find stuff. Uh, have I shown you all of this yet? I don't think I have. So, like, essentially, I've just extended this bit down here um, just in this normal room and as I was digging down I came across this place this little cave so I've added some glowstone and like a few just glass panes go coming up and down and I think that looks quite uh, looks like quite a nice crystal cave that going on down here so yeah and like there's some gold down there which I probably should mine but I think just adds to the look of it and through here is the nether portal and you can't you can't see nether portals through water or maybe you can maybe it's just because it takes down your render distance so, no you can't you can't actually see nether portals through water that's quite interesting I did not know that but yeah essentially this just links up here and then all the way down to the bottom here we have got just an empty room that doesn't really serve any purpose yet uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna build down here and there are a lot of zombies the, this is an abnormal amount of zombies. Is there like a zombie spawner coming through the wall or something that I didn't realise? I'm going to check that in a minute. I'm really scared that there's going to be a creeper. No, there just seems to be an abnormal amount of zombies down here. Uh, but that wasn't the room I was going to show you. That was just I got a bit lost. So let me go back up here and then go through... No, not through there. That's where I came from. Um, I go through over down here maybe I don't know um, is this it I think this is it I don't know though yes this is it I've got an office and it's very similar to the wizard industries one um, and it like yeah it's just pretty much your bog standard office down here but uh, I've just got like a few safety procedures going on because I've had the whole Igor thing in mind recently and to prevent that, it's not that button, there's a button on here that um, does a thing. Yeah, it's that one. It's the mouse. And that essentially drops you down into this room. And it's a room, if I were to break away these, and it would reveal a bunch of obsidian. And essentially, this just blows up my entire mountain. So I'm not going to be pressing that, just because otherwise then that could end exceptionally badly. But that's just essentially in case uh, I go... Uh, does end up getting too close for comfort and I decide instead of giving my house over to him I'm just going to destroy it which is probably what I'll end up doing if he does end up coming that close however uh, right now is not that time and now I need to find my way out again um, I think it's back round through here actually I'll just go back through this entrance over here just swim over there and then I'll just run down this tunnel it's also really nice because it's only two by two uh, the tunnel so that means you can run and bang your head on it which normally is a pretty bad thing running and banging your head on things however it means that you can get everywhere exceptionally more uh, quickly than you would normally be able to so today in this video we're going to be completing the code in that we started building in the last video and I've finished off the outside of it now pretty much completely and then we're just going to be doing the inside and Larry the Llama has now had a name tag um, so he doesn't despawn or wander off or anything and he is currently living inside of the reception area of the code in and I might even do a little bit of a shortcut over here and then do a quick oh I forgot how long this building was 
but uh, I was just gonna cut through here or maybe it would even be worth going just doing some quick ice skating on the way because why not and here it is so we're saying she just added some things on the side of it uh, to make it look well not more spherical but like make it look in a way more boxy because it looks a lot bigger but like it, it I think that looks quite good if you ask me then I've added these two things here which essentially just to represent uh, an on and off button uh, like a power button and this is what I've done to the inside so this is all pretty much the same I've had a little ceiling through there and then in this video we're going to be working in there so hello Larry what did I call you oh it's just Larry I wasn't sure whether I called you Larry the llama or Larry the reception llama or anything like that um, but we are going to get all of the birch logs and the green beds that we are going to need for this video and then I think that is actually all we're gonna need for this video I'll take some doors with me because we are gonna need some doors whoops didn't mean to do that sorry Larry I uh, just gonna take away that so I need to have a ladder that's just gonna be on this block here and then I can always build a little desk for Larry just around here or maybe even in that corner he seems to like that corner Every time I've come in, he has been in that corner. So I think that should be like his corner. But for now, I'm just gonna put this up on the ceiling. I just then it's not getting in the way. And then I'll make some of this. I can't make any scaffolding. I probably still won't. I don't particularly like using scaffolding uh, at the moment. I'll probably end up using it a lot more in the future. But for now, it's not. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. I think it's okay and it can serve a purpose but it's ridiculously expensive for what it actually is when you could quite easily just use ladders or dirt for actual scaffolding um, but then we are going to up here um, actually no why am I doing that I didn't mean to do that so in here then it's going to be four rooms in this little place so we're gonna have like a corridor going down the middle and then like so and then you're gonna have different rooms coming up here and I've kept it like this instead of making it into uh, planks just so then it looks like it looks like wallpaper essentially and I think that actually looks quite nice for this sort of thing and it's gonna be like it's gonna be quite homely in them inside them just because I thought that would look quite nice and then we're going to get some more planks and we are going to fill in this and this is essentially going to be the uh, next room above so if I go through like so and then actually I haven't thought this through very well have I actually yes I have it fits perfectly fine having another ladder over here and then it will go up like that and then essentially we just need to fill in uh, this here as floor and then we should be absolutely fine so I'm just going to fill in like the middle bit for now I'm not going to bother filling it all in otherwise that is going to get exceptionally boring exceptionally quickly and I need to whoopsie daisy uh, I need to make sure that I'm lighting it up and I said I would stop saying that and I did for a while I did get way better at not saying that however um, like yeah it is still a little bit of a habit right now and so is saying uh and so and yeah and like but that I say those things in real life as well and it's a habit that I would sort of like to be able to get out of but I talk quite quickly in real life and online so it's a bit of a thing that's hard to do because otherwise then I just end up saying things and what I'm saying is just essentially me talking at people rather than talking to them but now we've just got one more row along here this actually to be fair didn't take that long to do at all so I might as well just uh, finish this all off and nearly just um, didn't place any but now I nearly just fell off again because I went too far forward straight away and I've ran out. So if I just go and craft some more. And I'm actually wondering right now whether I'll have enough logs with me. Because I didn't really think this through very well on how much I would actually need. So if I break away this. Then I'll break away this. And then this here. And then once again over on this side. So these rooms are actually slightly bigger. So these are going to be like the deluxe rooms. You're going to have standard rooms at the front. And then you're going to have like the deluxe rooms at the back. Which is normally probably not how they work. Normally you'd want the best view and stuff. But this um, place doesn't really have a very good view. Actually what I could do is I could replace the uh, lime green with like 
stained glass so you could see in. I don't know how that would look. Uh, look the see out even, not see in, because like it'd be good to see in, but it'd be even nicer to see out. So it, it serves both purposes. So I was sort of right before. But yeah, I think that could actually look quite nice. So I'll test that out in between videos. I don't have any stained glass with me at the moment. I don't really want to have to run back to the house again in this video. If we do end up having to run back to the house, then fair enough, and then I can just get it while I'm there. But until that point, I won't bother. And yeah, I think this is actually looking pretty snazzy right about now, if you ask me. So I'm just going to carry on filling this in, and that is not supposed to go there. Um, and I'm just going to go along like this. It's really, like, you've got to be really careful now as well not to be walking around a room like this with an axe out just in case like you accidentally shave the log because I did that before when I was walking around and tried to open a door with an axe in my hand pressed the wrong block and just ended up shaving part of my wall I can't remember whether this was in the, uh, that was in this world or just in one of my other worlds it might have even been in the video I don't know I remember doing it but I can't really remember when but yeah this is actually looking pretty nice right now uh, I'm gonna add some torches down in here and I can only really add them on each side, so I'm going to do them opposites because this is a very thin corridor. However, it works and it serves its purpose. So for now, I want to try and find... Is it? Yes, it is here. So this wall is going to go across like so. And I just wanted to break down to make sure that I was finding it properly. And then it's going to go along like this. And I don't think I'll have enough Berkshire logs to fill in this entire place, but it'll do for now. And then I'm just going to go and do this. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. It must be quite accurate to real life because when you stay in like hotels and caravans and stuff, you can hear people like knocking on the wall and stuff because the walls are so thin. So having them only one block thick is actually accurate. It's not just a bad design on my part. It's actually being super realistic to real life. That was totally what I was planning to do with it. It's not just a happy coincidence. And I have placed that in the wrong place. And this ceiling, I think, is higher up here as well. So, like, maybe that should be, like, the two tiers. So, like, you've got the standard room, you've got the standard fancy room, and then you've got underneath here, you've got the fancy room, and you've got the fancy fancy room up here because it's got a slightly higher ceiling. Maybe that should be how it works. Or maybe I could just end up making the ceiling slightly lower and just putting birch planks there. Because I think that would actually look quite nice if I did. However, we are definitely not going to have enough to be able to do that. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm just going to go down by three there and just finish off this doorway. Don't have any more with me. However, I might have some inside of the thing. Inside the chest. And hello, Larry. You are moving around a bit now. No, I don't have any more with me, and I do have a map in here. Four of them, actually. That's a bit odd. Uh, what are they a map of? Let me just go and try and grab that. Um. Okay, then that that that's a tiny bit odd, I will admit. Um, that's just my ship and Doctor Peterson's house and the um, hos uh, not the hospital. I just saw H and thought hospital. Uh, Wizard Industries. That is exceptionally weird. Hmm, that's not even the part of the map that's on that map, is it? Because only half of the ship is on that map. That is very, very odd. Hmm. I'm going to keep this with me, just in case that comes in important at any time soon. So, yeah, let's just go and come back here. And I said it again, I said, oh, so yeah, I need to stop doing that. And I don't seem to... Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do. So I'm going to grab some of these just over here. And these are going to be, like, the different sofas in each room. This is going to be, like, a bed and there's going to be a sofa in each room. So uh, this can be a red sofa room. Actually, that's more of just a big armchair. We need to have, like, proper sofas in this one. Then over here, we can have a double dark green bed. Uh, and I'll put that over here just opposite the door like so that looks quite nice if you ask me then across the way I will put this like so there we go and then over here 
put um, a lime green bed, uh, two lime green beds to make a double bed. Ooh, and it just fell down there. And here, what I can do is add one dark green bed in there, and then I'll add a red sofa through here, like so, and then I'll add this there, and I might as well just add this there. And then I'll do the same on, actually, have I done that on this side? I can't really use the dark green concrete because otherwise it'll blend it. Actually, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'll just do it and see how it looks. And that doesn't look too bad. And then on, did I use dark green? I did use dark green. So I might as well just use dark green again in here, just so then I'm using all the dark green ones up for now. And there we go, this is looking quite nice I'll just light up some of these rooms and obviously I can always add like a painting in here or something a bit later on but I can't do that right now just because I simply don't have any paintings with me so let me go and light up these corners a little bit more along there like that then I'll go and do the same over here and I don't have any more stuff to do the upstairs rooms so I'll have to do that outside of video but I guess this is upstairs but the up upstairs, the other upstairs, the third floor, no, the second floor, because this is the first floor and then the ground floor is downstairs. So yeah, I reckon this is actually, this entire place, pretty much complete. And that is a tiny bit annoying just because this video is really short and that's not a very good thing. Just because I like to try and get my videos to average 20 minutes, but like, they, this one's just sort of not, is it? Um, let's just face it. But yeah, uh, I'll go and add some more torches in here for now, just because that's all I can really do. And then it'll just stop any mobs spawning in here until I'm able to like probably come up and build it a bit later on. And then I think I'll go and see whether I have any sandstone lying around anywhere, just to go and fill in these sofas is to go and add some uh, cushions to the sofas because you can make like different type of sandstone slabs now because you got like you can make like those smooth ones and you can make the cut ones and stuff instead of just regular sandstone slabs that always look the same and always have like the weird like stony texture on them so I don't know what I would have any so I might actually just go and make some unless there's a chest around here no I just saw some sand in there and I wondered whether there was still a chest left over from building it have any spare sand left over but it doesn't look like there is so I'm gonna try and get over here there we go without getting wet at all so let me just go and run down here and there we go and then let me see whether there's any sand there's not much sand down here um, but I need it so this will have to make do for now and how much do we need then so there are four sofas uh, so I need eight. No, that's not right. Uh, yeah, I need eight, and I've got eleven, so that should be an unless it's. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might need it thirty-two actually, because I think four makes one, not four makes four. Four pieces of sand makes one piece of sandstone, rather than four pieces of sand make. Um. Wait, no, four pieces of sand make one piece of sandstone, not four pieces of sand make four pieces of sandstone. No, four pieces of sandstone make one piece of sandstone instead of four pieces of sandstone making four pieces of sandstone. I think I said that right. I'm not sure whether I said that right all of them or not. Because it sort of lost track of what I was trying to say a little bit there. So, whoop, and my shovel has broken. My diamond shovel has finally broken. It was on its last legs for a while, but like it finally broke. And it's ser you served me well, shovel. Um, I'm not going to be able to make a memorial for you because you no longer exist. But I will, however, make a replacement pretty much straight away. Just because I need a replacement pretty much straight away. Have in the next video. Actually, in the next video, I might not actually need a shovel because we're building the. Uh, travel in and it's like elevated it's slightly elevated from the floor so we don't actually have to destroy any dirt in the next video so I might be able to get away without making a replacement for now 
Hopefully, anyway. I might... Well, I'm going to make one anyway. Just because, like, I need to get one at some point. But for the next video, it might actually be okay. So, hello, Larry. I'm just going to come over here. And, yeah, it was four makes one. So, let me just go over here. And just like so. And now I have 18. Just like this. And then I'm going to go and put two down in each. Then I'm going to... Actually, yeah, I need to add some more torches down here. I'm running low on torches. I should probably go and make some more. I've got loads and loads of coal. So it is perfectly fine. I think I should, like, go on, like, a properly big mining trip. Because, like, I don't feel like I've done that in a while. I think... Actually, I'm not sure. When was the last time I did, like, a properly big mining trip? I might check in between videos. And then, depending on whether... It was a while ago, go on a mining trip fairly soon, like after I finish this in trilogy. Because then it will be like this is just sorted, and then we can go and do a new thing. However, I think when it comes to things being sorted, the code in is as sorted as it's going to be in this video. So, therefore, and that looks cool, you can just about see the mast over there, just in white, slowly fading in. That looks really cool. I have not noticed that before. And yeah, so uh, the next video will be online next week. As always, a link in the description once it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.